Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I've got a whole lot of lionesses here, and I've also been joined by Sandy Ops. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having us. Great to have you here. Homestake Peak School. Yes. We're going to have a huge performance. Tell me a little bit about it. So we are performing the Lion King Jr. this uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Uh, the show is at 6.30. Doors open at at six. Okay. Um, tickets are seven dollars. They can be purchased online. I think we'll put the website up. Um, and it's a third through eighth grade cast. The kids have been working since September. Um, some coming in on Wednesday. Most of these girls have been coming in on Wednesday mornings. Um, a lot of these girls are, are volleyball players, so right. they're really fierce uh, lionesses and fierce volleyball players and one fierce soccer player. And, <laughs> there you go, um, a little wave there. I like yeah, it. they have a really, this is one of my favorite roles in, in the whole show. So um, we're going to perform uh, the lioness hunt. We actually hunt a gazelle live on stage. Nice. Um, it's okay for kiddos, little though. Little kiddos, it's okay. we won't scare them too much, but um, it, it is, we actually, they do... Uh, kill a gazelle on the stage, okay. <laughs> subtly. <laughs> right. Well, and lionesses do a yeah. lot of the hunting, so this is good to, to show that. The, the women are the fierce hunters That's and right. the lionesses. Um, Let's talk more about the programming. So it's open to anybody. It's not just Homestead Peak School. It's open to oh, absolutely open everybody Open to the, the public, absolutely. Okay. It would be a great Christmas gift for a youngster in your life or grab a senior citizen or bring a date it's going to be a really fun experience well and let's talk about that gift you guys were given a gift in your auditorium we were 70s or 80s was the last <laughs> time it was updated but you guys did a bunch of stuff with lighting and sound tell me about that so the last bond initiative we were fortunate enough to get a little bit of money for our auditorium uh the auditorium um was originally one of the only auditoriums in town right um so it, it is a beloved uh facility that um the district felt committed to uh, maintaining so we have all new lights sound curtains and we're just really excited to perform um, with all this new technology um, we literally had holes in our curtains that kids could crawl through so <laughs> we're <laughs> really excited we've updated that <laughs> now tell me about the blending in, in the in years past we've talked about the lower school and the upper school kind of separate different programs mm -hmm. you blended everybody together this yep. year because of the late school start because of all the school construction in the district um, we didn't have time to pull off two shows, so we decided to join our cast. So we have a third through eighth grade show, and um, uh, it's it, we just decided to go mega. Oh, and right. uh, we have 51 kids, uh, wow. seven crew members, and we couldn't think of anything more mega to do than Lion King. Plus the props and the outfits and everything you guys are we amazing. Have a, we have an elephant, a full-size elephant that comes on stage. We have giraffes on stilts. So this is really based off of the Broadway uh, production. So fun. Yeah. Let's have the lionesses sing. Again, the show is going to be the 13th, 14th, and 15th at 6.30 p.m. We are only talking $7, people. Go and see the lionesses and the whole show. We'll step off and let them sing. All right. <laughs> 